Morning. Today you're going to be learning about how to measure voltage and you're going to be investigating voltage in a series circuit. Right, here we go. Here is your first circuit. You will notice two cells and I've got them next to each other so that you can see very clearly they're pointing in the same direction. We've got a switch and we've got two lamps and if we press the switch you see that the lamps come on. There we go, very nice. Next bit of equipment we've got, if we're measuring voltage, is a voltmeter. To try and stop things from getting too confused with the leads, you'll notice that I've got yellow leads on the voltmeter and all the leads in the circuit are red. And of course, I've got my trusty results table. All good scientists must use results tables. So, firstly, measuring voltage. I like measuring voltage. I think it's easier than measuring current because you do not need to take your circuit apart during any of the experiment to measure voltage. So watch, all we've got to do is this. When you measure voltage, you wire the voltmeter up in parallel to whatever the component is you are measuring. So in order to do that, all we have to do is double-decker the leads. So I take the two yellow leads from the voltmeter, I place them into the leads that are already plugged into cell number one. You'll notice a reading appears straight away. We don't want that one. We're going to press the switch. Okay, so we're going to press the switch, the lamps come on, and that is the reading we're interested in. So 1.22 for cell number one. Then we want to measure the voltage across cell number two. So we take the leads out. No, we're not taking the circuit, except accidentally. We shouldn't be taking the circuit apart at all. We're going to plug in the voltmeter, again in parallel to cell number two. We ignore that reading until we've pressed the switch. Now we've got a reading of 1.4. So again, we record that in our trusty results table, 1.4 volts for cell number two. Next, we're going to measure the voltage across the lamps. So again, we've got our circuit all set up nicely. We don't need to take anything apart. We plug our voltmeter in parallel to lamp number one. We press our switch, lamps come on, and there we go. You can ignore any minus signs. Don't worry about that. So we've got a reading of 1.17 for the voltage across lamp number one, and so on. You keep doing that until you have measured the voltage of all the components in your circuit, except the switch. Don't worry about the switch. Now you'll notice that the results table is in two columns. Once you have measured all the voltages, what I would like you to do is calculate the total voltage of all the cells and then the total vol voltage of all the components. That's lamps in this circuit, but later on I think you're going to use a motor as well. And I'm interested in a comparison between the total voltage of the cells and the total voltage of the lamps. Okay, off you go.